So this is a part of my video series on creating charts and .xlsx files with Python using Google Colab. Um, previous videos we've looked at some of the other common charts and .xlsx files um, and how to create them using Python. These include column, pi, line, and in this video we're going to be looking at how to create a bar chart uh, in Python using uh, in a .xlsx file using Python um, and we're using Google Colab. Um, so again, the, the, all the code used in this video is in the description of the video below. And uh, we'll jump into Google Colab now and look at our Jupyter Notebook. So in this video we're looking at creating bar charts in .xlsx files using Python. Um, this is very similar to, in fact, there's very little difference between this and the code I used in a similar video I did for column charts. Of course, bar charts are just um, oriented horizontally while column charts, like in the first example that's in this same notebook that's in the description to the video below, uh, they're oriented vertically. So um, there are some things you, that might visually look better with bar charts. Um, I think stack charts you know, my personal opinion, stack charts tend to look better with um, bar charts than in column charts. In this example, I did ex exactly the same thing as I did for the column charts, just to make a nice, easy example using the Iris data set. Also, there's some lots of good and more av advanced examples in the XLSX Writer docs linked here uh, for creating um, bar charts in .xlsx files using Python. So, Anyway, as I have in um, each of my examples, I do the uh, pip install xlsx writer, um, even though I'm in a session where I've already run this, um, but I just have it in there anyway. Um, I pull in the iris uh, data set, uh, convert it to a uh, pandas data frame, and um, f format the data, data set in the, in the grouping that I want for the uh, Excel output. So this will, this is my this, most of my um, output data set or data frame. Um, so yeah, let's just jump into running this and and uh, we'll generate the output and go ahead and look at it. And yeah, I'm going to go ahead and look at this in um, Excel Libra output for the bar chart we just created uh, in our XLSX file using Python. Um, here you can see uh, when we reference the name, uh, we reference this particular cell uh, E2, uh, which is Satosa. So for Satosa, the values are A2 through D2. So that's this line right here, and the categories are the uh, sepal length, sepal width, um, petal length, and petal width. Um, so it's, like I said, it's very similar to a column chart I produced in an earlier video. In, in fact, there's, I believe there's only one code change where I said chart equals uh, workbook dot add chart. Um, and then uh, this uh, tuple in here, uh, type uh, equals bar. Type is type and bar are the um, rather than type and um, column, as in the first example. Um, so that's about it for this uh, simple example. Again, all the code for this video is in the description link below. Um, in the next video, we'll be talking about uh, scatter charts. So uh, thanks very much. See you in the next video.